I have that pass? See for a minute. Come here. Thank you. Who you got? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. That's right. Can I have that flying? Today we are selling three of our goats. I really hate to part with Coco. She has been an absolutely wonderful goat. However, I really wanted to get my herd down to three and the people that are taking her daughters, Lady and Rosie, also really wanted to take Coco. So I really love that they're getting to stay together. Come on, sweet girl. Here comes Miss Lady. I think three is about the max. Three Nigerians is about the max we can fit in there. Mom, can you get that yellow flower? Okay, I couldn't have done that without the help of Miss Gracie here. It was a tiny bit chaotic for a second, but we got it. We're ready to hit the road. He buckled the cat in. Do you think she should come all the way with us? She probably doesn't like that. She's being squeezed. She looks pretty happy, but I don't think she'll be happy for long. <laughs> Let's check on the goats. They're fine, but they're squished. They're not that squished. Hey, sweethearts. Everyone needs to put shoes on their feet, okay? Oh. Do you guys want to ride with me over to the gate? Yeah! yeah. Get it on Coco. Yeah, oh, what a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Coco, can you get on Coco? Where are we? There we go. Wow, look at those trees. How old do you think those are? I mean, they gotta be at least 150. Golly. Do you own those? Are those on your land? Yeah, yeah. What a blessing. This yeah, tree, they said, just fell on their house not too long ago, and then what was inside it? There was a, a swarm of honeybees inside the tree. That's awesome. So we had a beekeeper come out and mm -hmm. catch the swarm, and now we have our own hive. That's pretty cool. I bet it's a really strong, um, Swarm of bees then too, because they're yeah. wild. Yeah, they're doing pretty well. I guess the guy said they're part Russian or whatever. Oh, interesting. They're like, they're like kind of darker colored. Interesting. Yeah. I like to do they that. Be <laughs> they won't. I don't think they'll eat it on their own. Yeah. Goats are pretty smart. I mean, they they'll taste something. If it's bad, they won't eat it again. Okay. But that's a good reason to leave out the baking soda, especially, is like because they're new environment, they eat something not good, it'll help them. I want to show you guys our new enclosure is just full of delicious brambles. Here's some blackberry brambles they can eat. All sorts of weeds. I'm sure there's some things they shouldn't eat, which they'll figure that out. Like maybe poke berries probably aren't good for goats. Lots of poison ivy, but they are in goat. This is like total goat heaven. I love it. So this is their pasture here. I don't think they're gonna keep the goats out there. This is more ideal over here where all this bramble is. But what are your dreams for your place? Oh, well, we've gotta get a garden going. Yes. Um, we want to do like a flower garden and vegetable garden. Oh, nice. And maybe a pig will be down the road. It's so fun because um, I have known Bob and Lisa for, I don't know, 15 years or something, but I haven't seen them probably in 15 years. But I know a lot of people knock Facebook, but this is one reason I love Facebook. If you use it correctly, you can actually 
um, continue community and continue connections and create community. So I just threw out there on Facebook that I was selling goats and Lisa responded and here we are having a 15 year reunion. It's pretty cool <laughs> on behalf of the goats. So like I said, Coco and Rosie and Lady are favorites, our three favorite goats and it's nice that they're going to a family and a family that we know. <laughs> What's for lunch? From the table. Chili and cornbread, all things you can eat joyful, that's nice. get your boots on they're out here justice grab your boots and go get in the car you don't even have to put them on mom you want some food oh they're so short They're real cute. So I guess we can just put them on in at night and whenever. They're coming in right now. I have to say I'm going to miss those goats. Coco was one of the first goats we bought and it was this time last year that we went to go see her for the first time. And then she had her kids first. So it was just, Coco was kind of our first everything. Her and Lovey, but really Coco first. We had another great day. Lots of changes coming to the homestead. And we have some surprises in store coming up. See you guys in the next video.